So if we go to the ultrasonic wash, I have the same style pump with a, um, with a spray gun. So that is the same. I'm using a smaller pump on the ultrasonic wash. And, it, and for the most part, I'm rarely, I'm rarely running the pump on the ultrasonics. I'm always running the pump for the pre-wash during the normal operation. I'm really only running the, uh, the filtration on the ultrasonic wash, maybe at breaks and during the lunch hour. The control for the heat is the same as the pre-wash, so we will not repeat that. Uh, the timer dictates how long we're going to run the ultrasonic cycle. So right now we're set at five minutes and zero seconds, and I have a little lock code right here. So to take it out of lock mode, I press this little yellow button that's just right underneath the lock. So in a lock mode, I cannot make any adjustments. In the unlock mode, I can make adjustments. So my first blue key controls seconds. The second key controls tens of seconds. Third key controls minutes. Fourth key to the left controls tens of minutes. So if we were doing general contents, we would typically be at one minute. And so if I, was a del if I was doing delicates, I would be at, say, 15 seconds. That would be our typical. And what you'll notice is the bottom is our preset. And in red, you see a 0, 0, 0. That is the actual runtime. So when I go to turn the ultrasound on, you will see the counter counting up. And it gets to 15 seconds. The reason we have that timer in there is to help the operator keep track of how long the part's been in there so that they don't leave a part in too long. I mainly am more concerned with delicates and removing uh, gold leaf or, or paint on a non-glazed item. So this is very important. So when we're going through and setting up our equipment between delicates to electronics to general, one of the changes you'll make is you will make adjustments to the temperature control by changing the up and down arrow key and then setting it in memory. You'll change the time module. And the other thing you can adjust is the intensity. So we talked about power. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. Right now I'm set at full power. I'm going to reduce the two knobs to 75, then to 50% power, and then to 25% power so that you can hear the difference. Obviously, you won't be able to put your fingers into the machine to feel the difference, but the feel, the cavitation energy, the sound are all related. The lower the volume of sound, the less energy I'm putting into the tank. So again, we're going to start at 100% and reduce. If I want to stop the cycle mid-cycle, I just turn the button, uh, the handle to reset. But you could hear the, the incremental drop from 100, a little lower at 75 to 50. You could really hear the drop at 50 and then at 25. And if you were, again, to feel the cavitation energy in the tank, you would be able to, to feel how much less powerful it is. So when I'm dealing with delicates, I want to be in that 50% range. And if you're really not sure about how much power you want to have, then it's better to side on the side of lower power or more caution. And so I'm going to go ahead and turn this back to 100% power for now. And we're going to leave it at 120, and I'll adjust this back to one minute. So that's the controls for temperature, time, and power. We'll talk about the pH meter in a bit when we uh, come back and we actually add soap to the bath and do our, our pre-testing. Our rinse sink, we're using it as we transport the basket from the pre-wash to the wash into the sink. We're going to rinse off the, the basket so that we remove again any of the residual soot that's left and all soap.